you doing? What uh, what changes without Sasha now the next few games? Um, obviously we don't have him. Um, we don't have his you know presence. He's been here you know three years, and um, you know we we were missing a leader tonight. Um, it's just tough. You know we needed his threes tonight, but you know we we can't. Let Sasha be in going control. What we got going on in the court, and we, we just we just didn't bring it tonight. But you know we have another opportunity um, to, to play against another great team, and you know we got to bring it. So this this game is on us. You know when we lose games, it, it's it's always on us. So um, you know we just got to bring the next game. So what did you need to do better tonight to? overcome him not being there you feel like uh you know we we all took you know some tough shots uh i feel like we were getting to the paint when we wanted to we just you know didn't execute um you know we got to the free throw line you know made some free throws um you know we had some some bad turnovers uh you know we our guys just you know we we didn't have it tonight and it it just shows from all over. We, we just didn't have it tonight. All right. You guys from the backcourt were able to get to the rim a couple of times, especially in the first half. It seemed like it was particularly difficult to finish down there. Was that Michigan size kind of factoring into things a little bit? or? No, it was just it's us. I, I miss, you know, some easy layups. Miss easy layups. And, you know, I, I don't know what, you know, I played against Hunter Dickinson. It, it didn't affect me at all. I just, you know, couldn't get those easy layups, and we, we, we just couldn't get easy layups. I don't know. I tell you, I just, it's, it's tough because we all know we want to win, and, um, you know, when we lose this one, we, you know, we won four in a row. It's tough, and um, but we're, we're going to bounce back from this. This is not the end of the world, you know. So we're, we're going um, to bounce back next game. Does it change your role? Does it change your approach at all being in the starting lineup now? And obviously everybody probably having to do a little bit more uh, to overcome the loss of Sasha for as long as he's out. Um, you know, I, I obviously have been coming off the bench. I think, um, you know, it's, we're just going to, you know, get adjusted again. This is a new start. You know, I'm coming, I'm coming in the starting lineup now that Sasha's out. Um, we're just going to have to, you know, play with each other and, you know, we're going to have to adjust again and, you know, I, I know we can do it, and you know, next game we're gonna we're gonna watch some film. We're gonna um, you know practice hard, and next game we'll be ready. How many practices did you guys have without him just yesterday? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. Thank you, Jade. Thank you. Uh, Mike, go ahead for Jade. Yeah, Jade. How much? How, how important are these this upcoming week from a practice standpoint to kind of? redefine a role or two without Sasha? Um, very important. We we definitely need to take, you know, these, these next steps seriously. Um, now that we don't have Sasha, he's key to our team. He's key to, you know, our wins. Um, you know, but we, we have to do without him, unfortunately. And um, But that's that's not going to change, you know, what, what our goals are. You know, we, we want to win every game. And, you know, not having Sasha is tough, but, we, you know, we got to move on and, um, you know, we got to make plays down the stretch um, in, in these next, you know, key games. So, um, you know, these next practices, we got to be locked in and uh, we got to work hard, harder, even harder. What do you what do you need to bring in the next game or during practice to, to kind of fill, fill the void, but also push this team forward? I uh, just got to, you know, um, bring that, that offensive aggressiveness. Um, I think defensively I need to step up more you know, be talking more, everything. And, you know, I just I just need to feed off, you know, the older guys, you know, listen to the older guys, to what they have to say, um, you know, and do everything I can um, on the defensive end as well as the offensive end. And, you know, everything else will take care of itself. We got the players. We just didn't bring it tonight. But, you know, we, we have games under our belt. And, you know, this this one sucks, though. We, we definitely wanted this win, but, um, you know, a loss is a loss. This we lost seventy to fifty three. That's, I mean, that's not good. But it's it's an it's a new day. You know, we 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 have an, a new day coming up, and you know, um, we're we're just gonna keep working hard, and hopefully, we can get another win. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.
Anyone else for Jaden? I have a question. Yep, go ahead. Jaden, uh, what with a game like this, what bothers you more, the the 31% shooting or the 14 turnovers? 14 turnovers for sure. Um, you know, I you know, can't control where the, the ball goes in the basket, but you, you can control, you know, turnovers and um, you know, we just made some some bad turnovers. And I think that was that was the definition of the game. We we just turned the ball over too much. And, you know, we we can take care of that. That that is under our control. Um and next thing we, we, we have to be better or you know, we're we're gonna lose. We we have to be better. Anything else, Greg? Thank you, Jaden. Anyone else? Great. Thank you, Jaden.